Hey guys, Mr. Feedy here here, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about grapple in CTF and whether it's becoming a kind of a problem for majority of players when it comes down to overall playing it. Now, I've been hearing quite a few tidbits and voices from the community about how grapple is kind of broken in CTF and some other game modes as well. Now, here's the thing CTF is designed for both teams to go off and grab the other team's flag and get it back to their point of where the flag is and to capture a point. And it's meant to play out just like normal, like any other type of CTF games in any other type of multiplayer games you ever played for. However, in this case here, we have a little problem where using the grapple, if you know how to launch yourself using the grapple and know how to bunny hop as well, you're able to capture a flag from the enemy team's base within, I say, 30 seconds within the start of the match. And it's a major problem for players that are quite new to this. Now, I can understand that anyone can do this. Through a lot of practice and a lot of training, you're capable of grabbing other enemies' team's flags within a few seconds if you just practice in your own time. And personally for me, I'm not the greatest when it comes down to, to doing it. Grapple's not really my favorite class to use. As you can always see, I'm either using Phase or I'm always using Pulse. Grapple is kind of a 50-50 class for me, but it doesn't mean that I can still use the other classes and be effective on CTF type matches. But the current problem we're having is that in CTF, the ability to grab a flag from the enemy's team within a few seconds from the start of the match is, is broken. It's something that really shouldn't be capable of, put, of being put into the game. Now, if you look at it, like Stim for example, Stim you can also pull that off as well. However, with Stim, players have to actually pick up speed first to grab the flag, and then they need to find a nice pathway that is nice and clear before they can then activate their class ability. At that point there, players actually have a chance within that time frame to actually stop a Stim player. But with the grapple, the problem with grapple is you can pretty much launch yourself from point A of your base, to point B to any base and then point back and then back to point A all over again. And this is within a few seconds and it's incredibly annoying because if you're against a whole team of grapple players who know how to use this and you're on the other team that don't know how to use it, you're gonna get wiped completely. Now whether this is something that respawn is actually looking into and whether they're gonna actually adjust it in the near future, nobody knows. At the current moment, I know Grapple is one of the classes where it's not too powerful and it's incredibly balanced, but for a specific game like CTF, where each team should at least have an advantage against each other, this is something that is, I'll say, kind of overlooked. So ideally, if they wanted to actually adjust it and fix it within a nice reasonable way, I suggest that A, you cancel out all class abilities that pick up a flag, that way their players will actually have to rely on their maneuvers and they'll actually rely on how to bunny hop around the map if they want to get the map back to their base. Or B, make it so that it has a certain disadvantage to all classes. For example, if a steam player picks up the flag, they are running at incredibly slower speeds than, than normal when they activate their class ability. Or for example, if the pulse blade class decides to pick it up, they won't be able to throw their pulse base further because of the weight. And for grapple, it's pretty serious and obvious for most people, but for grapple, maybe they can make it so that you can grapple still, but you won't be grappling at a ridiculously fast speed. You'll be actually grappling at a much slower speed because of the weight of the flag. And those are a few ideas that maybe they can play around with, check, see if it works out, and then put into a, let's say, a PTR environment for us players to actually play around with and actually see. That way then, if they do implement it into the game, it will be based upon the voices of the community players and those that actually gave their feedback to say whether it's actually a good idea or a bad idea. Now those are just my ideas and personally my ideas are probably quite terrible compared to everyone else's. You're probably disagreeing right now saying that this isn't a very wise idea to go with. But at the moment we don't know exactly how we can balance out grapple without making it redundant. All classes in the game actually have a use and availability for all types of matches and engagements. Grapple is one of those, I say, dominant classes. It's capable of covering a lot of ground for players. 
and that's good because by you covering a lot of grounds it basically means that you can basically fly across the map you can flank people you can latch onto titans you can latch on the pilots you can latch onto ai it gives you a lot and that's kind of what makes a overall good and balanced type glass it gives you a lot of options still have a disadvantage whatsoever and at the same time there's one thing i never actually mentioned to you that also makes it a problem with using grapple in ctf and i'm sorry if this is kind of late but if you've not noticed when somebody grabs a flag and they use their grapple to launch itself from point a to point b have you not noticed that it's incredibly hard to actually aim and attach to them when you're aiming your weapon now i know for a fact that this might be the fact that aim assist is kind of slow or is barely capable of keeping up over players that are moving over increasingly fast speeds but i've noticed that when a player is launching herself using a grapple and i try to keep up with them with my say my main prime weapon being the r101 i find it incredibly hard to actually hit my target and this is something that i believe is also another complaint that i've been hearing from players like the fact that you can also launch yourself from point a to point b is you know something quite stupid and broken but also at the same time the ability to not be able to take out be taken out over that incredible speed you're, you're moving at is also a problem that shouldn't really be there you should still be able to actually hit the person but the only way you're going to have a good chance of actually killing that person who has your flag and is pretty much midway across the map is if they're in a nice direct line of sight or if you have a very dead accuracy and if you don't have any of that that's it gg so what do you guys generally think do you think grapple is a problem in ctf as you hear a few people mention how using grapple is incredibly broken in ctf matches and it can be incredibly broken for other game modes such as attrition and bounty hunter but in those type of game modes the only objective is either capture the certain objective or kill x amount of enemies in ctf where players are duking it out to get each other's flags it's a incredibly annoying problem to deal with so what do you guys generally think do you think this is a problem that needs to be adjusted and fixed into or do you think that all these complaints and talk about how grapple in ctf is a problem is nothing more than just a minor issue that should be overlooked so let me hear what you guys think write down in the comment section and let me hear what you say so thank you for watching i do hope you enjoyed it if you did then leave a like a comment and subscribe for more if you didn't then by all means give a dislike i understand and i know what to do in the nearby future so once again guys thank you for watching and i do hope to see you again soon